I'm using a purple stucco patch that I bought from Home Depot for like $8 something. And basically I'm gonna patch a little hole uh, on my uh, front wall okay. here. The hole is over there where I just patch. So basically it seemed to stick pretty good between wood and stucco. S excuse me for my camera angle, but the hole is like maybe a couple inch long. So I just keep applying uh, on the space around it. So it seemed to, this is gonna take uh, a few days to dry, but it seemed to, you know, stick pretty good. I just keep putting a bit more here, you know, to make it. But it looks, looks okay to me. And I'll, I'll wait a few more days and then paint it over. So see how it goes and give you guys an update. There. Doesn't look too bad once you paint it because it's underneath the eave here, so it should it just not be a eyesore or anything like that. And it seemed to stick stick to the wood pretty good. Have no problem applying. Pretty good, pretty good hole here. So a little hole there. I think we're gonna use the uh, drywall patch or you know a cock the hole there. I'm not gonna use the stucco patch to patch so it. Went there. ahead and do a rough caulking there. Not very professional looking, but I'm gonna paint it over. The last painting contractor did a very poor job. Look at how he actually removed. Um, up there, it's uh, roof, uh, roof tiles, and then he replaced some wood. But then look at that, he, he used they, their crew used too long of a screw and very dangerous. If you happen to be in the area and poke your head, oh my god, I don't know how that's gonna happen. So be extremely careful here. Some more protruding screws there. I did his bad job. So, what I did, I, I used the hammer to. I hit it so it would not be as straight. I would love to cut it, uh, you know, um, cut the uh, screw out later on.